<laughs> All right, hopefully this looks good. Welcome to another episode of Levi in the Closet. Um, thank you for checking this out. Um, today is going to be a little bit different of a video. I'm going to try to post this up as soon as possible. This isn't in the sequential order that I've shot them. Um, but I did feel like I need to make this video. Um, it's been on my mind, on my heart, I guess you could say. And so I wanted to talk about it. I'll get into the topic um, shortly. But for my item of the day, it actually isn't a clothing item. <laughs> but uh, it is the newest addition to the Levi in the Closet family. My little son, Ronts. Um, I just got him a couple days ago. He's adorable. And... Uh, I don't know, I really enjoyed him. He's a great cuddler. He likes to cuddle in bed at night. And uh, he's a lot of fun to have around. And, you know, he keeps me company. And uh, I don't know. <laughs> I just enjoy having a cat. Um, I'm a cat and dog person. I get along with both. I do enjoy cats just because you can leave them alone longer than a dog. Like, dogs need pretty much constant attention. But a cat, can they can take care of themselves. And I, I've been working a new job, 10-hour days. So he can be home that long and keep himself occupied and, um, you know, like he has a litter box, so he doesn't need to be taken out. And, uh, I don't know if you're a cat person, you know, I don't know. I don't need to go into the specifics of it, but super soft and cuddly. And I'm so glad I have him in my life now. Cause you know, it, I was just coming home to an empty house at the end of the day, but now, uh, you know, I have somebody here to welcome me. He comes running and it was only, you know, like the second day I had him, he started responding to his name. Uh, his original owners were calling him Little Turd. I haven't called him that at all because I don't think that's fitting. I think he's great. And I think he's a little, uh, I don't know, a little handful sometimes. But what cat isn't? You just have to be patient. And uh, I think it's kind of just like having a child, you know, you just got to be patient with them. And not everybody's perfect. So you just got to roll with it. And when people say they're not cat people or that they don't, uh, they don't like cats, it always confuses me. Like, did you have a bad experience with a cat or were you just told that you don't like cats and you just went along with it? Or what is it that people specifically don't like about cats? Cause, um, I mean, I've, I've been clawed and my old cat, he pawed me in the eye one time and gave me a black eye <laughs> and that wasn't, that wasn't a fun experience, but still like, I still loved him and I, I cuddled him every day after that and we had a great relationship. There you go, Ron. <laughs> so, um, all right, yeah, so <laughs> with that being said, getting right into the uh, topic of the video today. Um, again, I don't really have like a title for this. I'll, I'll add one later in the description, but uh, you know, just going off the top as normal. <laughs> um, oh, also, before I get into this video, Follow me on Instagram at Levi Acid, or you can email me at no love for innocent souls at gmail.com. If you have any questions you want me to answer in a video, or you want to reach out, or you just want some uh, advice, you know, relationship advice, life advice, I'm I'm open to that. I'm that's part of why I make these videos so I can help people, especially young men, or you know, people dating, anything like that, anything related to, you know, mental health or your personal well-being i want everybody to have a better life and so that's my goal by making these videos so i appreciate you checking it out thank you for checking out the video make sure to follow me on instagram at levi acid you can message me there if you have any questions or comments um all right so getting right into the topic of the video <laughs> uh I, so as you know right now as of july 2021 the i want to say tokyo olympics i want to think i want to say it's in tokyo are going on right now and there's been a lot of controversy around um <laughs> i'm just gonna go out right right out and say it around simone biles and her um i don't know what you'd call that she walks away angrily walking away from the olympics and quitting or whatever and i'm just gonna say she quit right that's what i see it as she just quit and um i've seen a lot of people supporting that they say oh mental health and She's so strong for standing up for women's mental health or anybody's mental health or, you know, people's mental health, which I think is great. I'm a huge advocate for mental health and taking care of yourself before anything else. Like you need to have a healthy mindset. But if you're competing on an Olympic level, you kind of have to put all that stuff aside. Like, yes, having the weight of the world on your shoulders 
you put yourself in that position. You knew what you were going into. It's not like all of a sudden, oh man, I was never expecting this. No, you have to compete at a high level. There's like a high performance expectation out of you if you're going to be going to the Olympics. And just to quit, I don't think that's right because there are people that would do anything and people that tried and didn't qualify and they probably trained their whole life too and they didn't get to go to the Olympics. And to see somebody that says, you know, and a lot of people I don't think even watch the Olympics, they just see the buzz around it. I haven't watched a lot of it this year because I don't have a TV at my place, but when I go over to my parents' house, you know, I see them on uh, NBC or whatever channel it is that does the Olympics. And uh, yeah, I see, I, I saw how she wasn't landing. She was landing off the mat. She wasn't, you know, she wasn't uh, sticking the landing, messing up a lot, doing a lot of things. And I don't know what's going on in her personal life, but that just shows me like, okay, she's not doing her best like how she used to. So, okay, yeah, that's a little bit of pressure on herself, but still, when I was doing sports in any time in anything, and that's just my upbringing, I was told to finish strong. Like, if you start something, you finish, even if it's not going how you expect it, even if it's not going great and you're not performing at what you expect or what other people expect of you, you still finish strong until the end and you just push hard. And I know not everybody is going to agree with me on this. Everybody wants to say, oh, you need to take time for your mental health. You need to do this and this. Well, she's had time to do that. The gap, there's four years in between Olympics. So all that time you can spend on your mental health. All you can train, do whatever, take your time. There's plenty of time to work on yourself and then get to the Olympics. Push hard. Even if you're not doing great, just push hard, 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 hard. And I saw an example of... um. I can't remember her name exactly, but uh, the one-legged gymnast, um, for one, one person competing with one leg, that's crazy, and then her coach pushed her, even when she had an injury and she still got the gold medal, um, maybe you know who I'm talking about, I can't remember her name, but uh, I, I see the reasoning behind that, it's because you do have people watching you, you want to be able to show, okay, even though you have an injury, you can still push through. And if you don't need the gold, you know, it's not just about getting the medal. It's about showing that you're willing to push through anything because you got that far already. You can just push a little bit harder to make it to the end. Even if you're not getting the gold, even if you're not getting a medal or qualifying, you do the best you can, you know, until the end. And that's as I see it. And I'm a little bit disappointed. There's so many people that are saying, that she's right and she made a big post on Instagram <laughs> saying you know how she has the weight of the world on her shoulders again and true but that's nothing that you didn't already know would happen so you should have prepared or she's had all this time like what about the previous years did she not have the weight of the world on her shoulders in the previous Olympics no she had to train had to prepare you push through to the end you're at the Olympics you know Anybody would want to do this. So, I don't know. Maybe you don't agree with me. Maybe you do. But this is just my opinion here. This is what I like to do on this channel. It's just say my opinion. And, uh, yeah, I don't think it's right when somebody just quits. Like, of course, if there's, like, a major reason, like, if you break your leg and you're expected to compete. But even then, like, are you really trying your hardest? Did you really do your best? Are you really pushing through? Because, I don't know, just using an excuse of, oh, my mental health, I think nowadays it has become more of an excuse. It's not, oh, I'm really taking care of myself because everybody has time to do that. Everybody, you know, has the time to prepare. And that's what I'm trying to portray on this channel that you have your whole life to take care of your mental health. So there should be no excuses. You finish strong. Anything you start, you finish. You don't just quit and walk away. And then, you know, not that I haven't ever quit anything, but when I do start something, when I attempt something um, on that level, even if I'm not doing great or if I'm not, you know, meeting my own expectations, I still want to finish. I still want to just push hard until the end. And that's, you know, I think good sportsmanship. That's the main fundamentals of a sport or anything competitive is you push hard and you finish 
strong or as strong as you possibly can even if it's you know to other people it doesn't seem strong at least just finish um you know um getting a little bit away from that the i can't remember her name either but the uh olympic runner that was disqualified because she tested positive for marijuana and a bunch of people were saying well because she had a death in her family she should have been able to do that just relax and you know just chill and smoke a joint you know whatever whatever you're an olympian you shouldn't have to depend on anything like you know what i mean like if you're gonna be expected to perform on a high level they probably are looking for people that don't have you know performance enhancing drugs or anything like that and not that marijuana is that but um you know you're supposed to be a strong healthy athlete and and you know competing at that high level you know it, it just doesn't make sense to me so that was her own downfall because she couldn't meet those high expectations that was you know probably showing them okay she's not ready for this like people that actually want it you know, and again, you might not agree with me. How many other people have suffered things like that? They're not in the spotlight and they have hard things they go through. People go through stuff every day, hard trials and tribulations every single day. And, you know, they don't use some other kind of substance to cushion that or, you know, they just keep going through it. And like, if you work a job, if you're going through a struggle in your relationship, if you're just, you know, experiencing something like you have some kind of, uh, tough time you're going through and you can get through that without the help of another substance like drinking or smoking or um medication whatever that may be if you can get through that that just shows how strong of an individual you are and i know again not everybody's gonna agree and i i'm definitely not somebody that uh I, i'm a hypocrite i admit you know like i've smoked weed i've drank and used that as like a vice or a crutch, I guess as you say. And, uh, but I'm not going out there trying to compete for anything. Or like a job, they'll drug test you because they want to see, okay, is he able-bodied? Is he all there in his mind? Like, how I see it, it's fine if you start, you know, drinking on the weekend, if you smoke on the weekend, that's fine. But if you can quit for a certain amount of time and go drug test for this job and go get it, that shows, like if I was the boss, it would show me okay, you're willing to actually give up this one thing, like smoking weed, if I do that every single day, and I know I want this job, and I quit for 30 days so that I can clean my body, um, and just have a cleanse, and not that they know that necessarily, but if you can do that and prove it to yourself, that shows you and them, okay, they actually want this job, they're willing to give that up for a better cause, or for the higher cause, you know, and... You know, that ties in with Simone Biles. If you're willing to give up, you know, the pressure in the, you know, whatever excuses it is. And I don't, I haven't followed a lot. I've just seen a bunch of people that are, you know, they're saying all this stuff over here. They're not talking about like, you're an athlete, you're an Olympian. Why are you even here if you can't handle the pressure? If you can't finish strong, even when you're not, not doing as great as you have in the past. Why can't you just do that? And she walked away from her whole team, you know, to me, that just doesn't make sense. That's not right. Um, yeah, and that's really pretty much all I have to say on the subject. Just keeping it pretty short. Um, I'm, if you comment below, you, you can say your opinion. I'm not going to be responding to anything because I feel like, um, you know, I don't really want to increase negativity. I'm just saying my opinion here. I'm not going to argue with anybody. I'm not going to reply to comments, but feel free to state your opinion below, whatever. You can say whatever you want. But uh, you can follow me on Instagram, again, at Levi Acid, um, or check me out on YouTube, at Levi Acid, or Levi in the Closet, that's the video series that I do. Um, you know, look forward to more videos coming out. They're not all, you know, controversial or whatever, it's like a lot of dating stuff, or like, you know, just my personal experience, or me talking about my life, and just things going on. Uh, but yeah, I, I appreciate you guys checking out the video if you made it to the end. And as always, love yourself before anybody else. And I'll catch you in the next video.